Welcome, Arats, again. Chapter 14. The Buddha, the Awakened. He whose conquest cannot be conquered again, into whose conquest no one in this world enters, by what track can you lead him? The Awakened, the Omniscient, the Trackless. He whom no desire with its snares and poisons can lead astray, by what track can you lead him? The Awakened the omniscient, the trackless. Even the gods envy those who are awakened and not forgetful, who are given to meditation, who are wise, and who delight in the repose of retirement from the world. Difficult to obtain is the consumption of men. Difficult is the life of mortals. Difficult is the hearing of the true law. Difficult is the birth of the awakened, the attainment of Buddhahood. Not to commit any sin, to do good, and to purify one's mind. That is the teaching of all the awakened. The awakened call patience the highest penance, long-suffering the highest nirvana. For he is not an anchorite who strikes others. He is not an ascetic who insults others. Not to blame, not to strike, to live restrained under the law, to be moderate in eating, to sleep and sit alone, and to dwell on the highest thoughts. This is the teaching of the awakened. There is no satisfying lusts, even by a shower of gold pieces. He who knows that lusts have a short taste and cause pain, he is wise. Even in heavenly pleasures, he finds no satisfaction. The disciple who is fully awakened delights only in the destruction of all desires. Men driven by fear go to many a refuge, to mountains and forests, to groves and sacred trees. But that is not a safe refuge. That is not the best refuge. A man is not delivered from all pains after having gone to that refuge. He who takes refuge with Buddha, the law, and the church, he who with clearing understanding sees the four holy truths, viz. pain, the origin of pain, the destruction of pain, and the old eightfold holy way that leads to the quieting of pain. That is the safe refuge. That is the best refuge. Having gone to that refuge, a man is delivered from all pain. A supernatural person, a Buddha, is not easily found. He is not born everywhere. Wherever such a sage is born, that race prospers. Happy is the arising of the awakened. Happy is the teaching of the true law. Happy is peace in the church. Happy is the devotion of those who are at peace. He who pays homage to those who deserve homage, whether the awakened Buddha or their disciples, those who have overcome the host of evils and crossed the flood of sorrow. He who pays homage to such as have found deliverance and know no fear. His merit can never be measured by anybody. Let us think upon chapter 14, the Buddha or the Awakened.